Good morning, KB. Let's go over our reading lesson for today, Tuesday, May 26th. Our reading lesson starts with our new story of the week, Alistair and Kip's Great Adventure. If you have not already listened to that story, take a moment, go back and listen to it. It's not a long story, but it is a fun one. And maybe it will remind you of an adventure that you got to have one time. So go back and check out that story. And then let's come to our reading packet this week. Starting on page 437, make sure you are practicing your first and your last name at the top where it says name. And then we're working with the letter U this week, reviewing U. And more specifically, reviewing short U. Do you remember what that sound is? Uh, uh, uh. Say with me. Uh, uh, uh. Just like we hear in sun and cup. Uh, uh, uh. So make two rows. Your top row is going to be a line of capital U. And your bottom row is going to be a line of lowercase U. And then ask someone in your family to choose their favorites and draw hearts around their favorites. Capital U and lowercase U. You, we know how to do this one. Come down to the bottom and we're going to copy our words, sun and cup. Copy them nice and neat on the line. Then let's turn the page to 438. And here we need to fill in the words. Take a look at all six pictures. We need to fill in the missing letter, the missing middle letter for each word. And our letter can either get an A, an O, or a U in each word. A, O, or U. Those are the only letters we're going to use on this page today. So let's take a look at the pictures that we have and then you're going to figure out what letter is missing. We have sun, Cup, bus, bat, pup, and cot. Sorry, boys and girls, that one took me a second. This is a cot. Okay, so it's sun, cup, bus, bat, pup, cot. Let's go ahead and listen to those words, figure out do they need, does it need an A, an O, or a U. And then color all of the pictures that have U in the middle. Color all of those pictures any color that you like. But if they get an A or an O, leave them alone. Then let's come to our little reader this week, going right into our little reader. Again, focusing on that short U and listening for it. The, story, the title of our story is Gus and the Bug. Gus and the Bug. Don't forget to put your name on top once you pull out your story and then read it through. Do you remember how many times? Not once, not twice, at least three times. If you want to do more than three, great, go ahead. But at least three times, really practicing sounding out those words that we don't know. Gus and the bug. Find out what's going to happen with Gus and the bug. And then I would like you to take any color crayon you like and underline all of the words with the short you, uh, uh, uh. Be good detectives and find all of the words with the short U. Underline them any color before, of course, coloring the pictures in your booklet. And that's it for reading today. Great job, boys and girls. Keep up the hard work. See you soon. Bye-bye.